awesome beautiful 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 day to everybody do you sometimes find beautiful 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 day to everybody i celebrate all of you i celebrate you especially i wish i could mention all your names and give a shout out to you ah uh, but let me just do it generally <laughs> I want to thank you all for joining day six of the Harvard Money School. All right, this is a 30 day training or coaching program where I pour out my heart and teach everything that I know about money so far and see how you also can learn from it and apply it to your own private life as well. So, I welcome all of you from all over the world, wherever it is you're joining me from. I want you to do something unique for me and simply just share this live video with people all right uh, post it on your page copy the link to this live video and share it on whatsapp status uh share it everywhere with everybody let them be able to know that we are live about a kick start right now so we've done all the dancing it's time to get into class and share what we have for today remember it's a long journey and you want to make sure Whatever you do, you get something to write with, all right? Uh, don't just watch me like a movie. You get motivated and then your life still remains the same. So one of the first steps to a changed life is making notes so that you can reference it, so that you can go back to it and pick whatever it is that you were able to write down so you can action it, so you can apply it, so you can do something about it. If you do not write it, by the time I'm done speaking, you probably would have forgotten over 50% of the things I said. And just in 12 hours after, you'd have forgotten over 90% of what I said. Uh, most of you do not remember most of the things I said yesterday. If you were here yesterday, some of you just know that yesterday was amazing. All right, if you enjoyed yesterday, I want you to type amazing. If you were here yesterday and you had fun yesterday, type amazing. All right, yesterday I started with the fact that making money, all right, uh, is a secret. It takes secrets to make money. It is not just about getting a job or doing something because a lot of you have done so many things. If it's about hard work, many of you are hard working and yet you are not where you want to be. Yes, it got some results, but not enough you don't still have from life everything you want you are still not at the level that you would love to be hence there is something you have not done yet you might have done everything but there is one thing you are yet to do and for some people who are not even doing anything you know your own case is, is, is hyper but for those of you who are putting in effort you're trying this trying that doing this and that uh, and yet you have not yet experienced the kind of life you wanted uh, it means there is something you are yet to be doing, all right? And I found out from personal experience and studying other people that to build wealth is a function of secret. You got to just know how things work and you got to understand how things work for you as well. So I've started teaching from day one incredible secrets and different things that you need to pay attention to. And yesterday, we went to the very foundation of life. We went to the very foundation of everything and we talked about the reason all right many people do not approach or do not attract the kind of money the kind of income the kind of lifestyle that they claim they want is because number one they do not want it <laughs> and it sounds like a paradox me come on how can you tell me that the reason i don't have what i want is because i do not want it does that make sense? Well, if you're wondering what that means, you want to go through yesterday's class and go through it again. If you have no, if you were not here yesterday, you want to go through yesterday's classes on the Facebook page. It's also on the Instagram page, so you can just go to IGTV and watch yesterday's training. You would understand why it is possible for you to want it and still not want it. You understand why the only reason you did not have what you so much desire is because you don't want it. All right, you think you want it. Yeah, there's a big difference. You think you want it. And that's why pastors preach these things. They say, faith, because you do not believe. That's why things do not happen to somebody. I used to wonder for many years. Ah, please, God, you know my heart. Oh, I believe this thing. I want it. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Is there another way to want it that I just don't know? I mean, is there another way to want it? 
I, I want to want it that way so that it can happen to me too. I mean, I want to take my family out of poverty. I want to do amazing stuff for my mom. I mean, I lost my dad quite early though. I think I, I just finished secondary school. I gained admission to university and the man decided to go. I could not do nada for him. At least my mom, I did a little. I mean, she tasted just a little. But nonetheless, I wanted all this good life and great stuff for them, but I was praying. I was going to church. I was doing all of these things, but somehow, all right, somehow, Bobo T, just go to the page, all right? Make sure you're following my page. Go to the page and go to IGTV. You would see it. I brand everything there. So just watch as many as you can, all right? Uh, each day, I do more than one hour. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can be doing 10 minute session, 5 minute session as well, but I guess we're going to get into all of that because sometimes it's just me uh, in the car just decided to come online and just give you the secret for the day, teach you for the day. But I feel like pouring my heart and that's why I do in-depth teaching. And even what I teach is still not completely in-depth, but at least it's deep enough for a lot of you to understand the concept that I'm talking about. So these are secrets to generating wealth so the first thing we are dealt with is the foundation the reason you have your bank account the reason you are struggling to make the kind of money you have always desired to make the reason it's been difficult all right for you to get all that you have always wanted all right so today i'm going to continue and take you to secret number two all right and this number two secret is incredibly critical most times a lot of us know it but many times most of us do not act on it we only pay lip service to it we do not act on it and it is difficult really really if if, if ever possible it is very difficult for you to do well financially if you do not do this all right it's very difficult for you to do well financially if you do not do this so life of wealth life of a lot of income is a deliberate life it is not a life left to chance it's not a life of chance it's a deliberate life i want you to type it wealth is deliberate come on now wealth is deliberate i want you to type it wealth is deliberate come on come on come on stay with me stay with me L wealth is deliberate all right it is not a fluke it is not by mistake. If you make money by mistake, you lose it and you go worse than you were before the money came. Sometimes, let me let me just be a bit religious. The reason God is not giving some of you money is because you're going to get worse than you were after the money had left you because the money is going to leave you anyway because you're not ready for it. So the money is going to leave you. <laughs> All right. Wealth is deliberate. You have to be deliberate with it. It is not just going to drop on your lap as a mistake you must be deliberate about it so the first thing we dealt with is the fact that you have to want it you have to want it not wanting it in your head but wanting it in your heart not wanting it by just saying it but wanting it from the depth of you your subconscious must agree with the things you are thinking in your mind and with the things you're saying with your mouth all right kindly type wealth is deliberate if you're just joining my name is sam harvard and this is harvard money school all right and i'm teaching you in the next 30 days how you can generate a lot of wealth for yourself regardless of the level you have and i said this school is important for you if you are here to be doing thirty thousand dollars per month or your business is here to be doing over three million uh, that's a three million six million dollars every year all right so if you're not yet doing those numbers you have to stick with this but if you're doing way above those numbers uh well you, you can still learn from it <laughs> but maybe these classes you can say nah i ain't doing those class it's for small children so whatever level you are right now you want to stick to what i'm teaching you because it changed my life it's changing my life and it can change yours and continue to change yours as well so you've got to be deliberate about wealth so you don't want to hear what i'm sharing alone i want you to do me a favor one of the payments you can do for this school is invite people before time invite people this happens i start go online between uh 3 p.m and 3 30 that's lagos london time or 6 p.m and 6 30 dubai time or i'm broadcasting live from uae dubai precisely and i am teaching today number two secrets and this secret is crazy and i want you to do everything 
possible to listen to me carefully all right share this share this share this share this let everybody know about it we're live and they want to be able to join in they want to be able to be a part of this and we're going to make it happen amazingly so i said wealth is deliberate wealth is deliberate it's not a fluke it doesn't just happen all right because it happens to some people it happens by mistake but check their life they are worse than they were at their prime at the peak of them making all the money so some people have talent they have skills what i mean talents now i mean entertaining talent in that sense they could play football they could sing they could do all those things creativity melancholic talent and all that and unfortunately they do not have financial intelligence all right and they refuse to hire somebody who is financially intelligent and unfortunately they blow up everything that they have and like i said it's just like the yahoo boy syndrome the yahoo boy most of them came from poverty most of them uh had low self-esteem most of them had nothing all right and then they began this fraud and then they saw the kind of money that their generation had never seen before they do not know what to do with it when i was pretty young and i started doing business as a little boy the little transaction i could do the little money i made i didn't know what to do with it my goal then was to buy a football that's a, a soccer ball and the reason i wanted to buy a soccer ball is because because my family was quite poor the children who saw they are also poor but they saw us as poor they in their head they were rich all right they do not allow me play so at best they put me as goalkeeper you know so just stay as goalkeeper on there and i noticed that is the owner of the ball even if you don't know how to play anything you will be the one to choose and call the shot on the field so i wanted to have a ball so that at least it will boost my esteem a little bit so every money i made what i thought of doing was to go and buy a ball was to go and buy a ball i knew about bitcoin before it was worth one dollar yeah i was always online what i was looking for online was how to get out of the country to study not because i just wanted to jack my but I just wanted to study. I love education. I wanted to study. I believe I would have better opportunity if I studied abroad. So I was always trying this university and all of that, always on the cyber cafe. Before Yahoo started in Nigeria, we knew what it was. We were the we were privileged to be part of the, uh, the pioneer of what now has evolved to be Yahoo Yahoo. All right. Back, day, back, back in those days on the cyber cafe, the only way you actually can connect on the internet is through a cyber cafe. Laptop was incredibly expensive and you could not afford internet on your own because mobile networks had not started doing internet at that time. You had to have some very big dish somewhere and some mast somewhere. So it was quite difficult, you know, to do things like that. So uh, we were going to cyber cafe. We knew how to buy one ticket. All right, we buy one browsing ticket and use it for a week. All right, um, we knew how to do a lot of dating on Yahoo Messenger back then with people from Europe and all of those things. Personally, I was genuinely dating the lady I was dating, but one of my boys then wanted to date the sister of that lady, but because he wanted to be getting money from them, so he now showed me some credit card numbers that he was able to get, and we were trying to buy things on eBay from as far back as those years before anything was called yahoo yahoo now he continued in that i left it but my point is because of our background any little cash that come to our ends we want to blow it to service our low self-esteem and that's the problem with a lot of people money comes to you you blow it on useless things to impress people who do not care you blow it to impress people who do not freaking care about you. So it's a cycle that needs to be broken. All right. So we established all of that yesterday as to why if you want to be rich, you got to want it. Your subconscious got to want it. All right. You got to want it in your heart, not just in your head, not just with your mouth. It has to come from the depth of you. And then I explained how that works to you and I explained how to change it. I explain the fact that your subconscious is telling you and spreading the energy around you that you do not deserve to be a millionaire. 
But I said the way to do it is to confuse your subconscious mind by feeding it an information from your mind, all right, consistently as if you are already a millionaire. <laughs> So I told you to pick an amount of money that you so much desire, but you know you have never made it before. But you want to make that kind of money. And I told you what to do to that amount of money. And only if you keep doing that for the next 21 days, it's going to become an habit and you will do it every day. One day your subconscious will say, leave him. I think this guy is already a millionaire. Maybe he's not a billionaire but he's already a millionaire and that is how to shift little by little i said to get you to your current financial state it took you your age it took you your age to get you to your current financial state i'm in my mid-30s it took me over three decades to move me <laughs> to the level that i am right now so just calculate your age so imagine how long it might have to take you to clean up two decades three decades four decades five decades of wrong mindsets wrong subconscious mindset and thoughts and belief systems that has been built don't let this thing distract you i just like putting it back back in the days you know i want to be consultant you know, at a point in my life, I used to wear all these suits that your ass would come out at the back like this, and you'll be saying you're a philanthropic toy. I mean, you used to be a very influential person to me back then when I was leaving school, and all I wanted to do with my life was to be a consultant. I didn't know the meaning of consultant. I remember asking Yenka Babalola, a very amazing friend of mine, that, so uh, Yenka, come, what is all this consultant, all this business? Consultant? What do they do? I only know they make money and I want to make money, man. Come on, I just want to make money. So whatever it is they do, I'm doing. I don't know it, but I know they speak. Part of the things they do is that they speak. I want to be, uh, so I will wear a suit inside it. I will be sweating. I didn't, I didn't have my toy here, but I'm not quite sweating today. But I sweat a lot, so I will be mopping it. Oh my goodness. I want to because that I will pack it like this. This is how I go to class in my undergraduate days. My lecturers loved me. It was so bad that I, oh my God, I remember. I don't know if any of my classmates is watching me. Just do a shout out. All right. I did Akoba, you know what they call Akoba, Adaba for everybody in my class back then. So I influenced the lecturer. I think it was a level advisor, amazing professor. All right. To so now make it compulsory for every of my classmates to come in with their shirts tucked in. To wear proper shirts and talked in whatever it is <laughs> that they were wearing. So one day, another professor came to class and saw the way I was dressed, and he was like, I like the way you dress. Yeah, everybody, whatever you are wearing, I want you to put it in. The guy was wearing native, Baba Regan, Agbada, he had to talk in the Agbada. I'm serious, he talked. They talked in Agbada. Oh my God. Oh my God. The guy looked like he was wearing parachutes <laughs> because I had to influence them. And all of this was simply because I decided to start wearing suits like a consultant. So I used to wear this kind of thing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so so that, that was what I wanted to do. But I noticed that life is not like that. I mean, if you all you do is consultancy and stuff, it's easy for people to easily move you to become a motivational speaker. I am not a motivational speaker. I only said it. I just ate it. Please, don't ever mix me with a motivational speaker. I'm a businessman. I've got businesses. I don't like to flaunt things. I like to do a lot of secrecy. But believe you me, I do business. Uh -huh. So every money I've made is business. It was just two years ago that I started all this online nonsense. I don't used to do this online stuff and what have you. But I'm loving it because now it's giving me ability to reach people from all over the world at the same time. I'm able to pass the knowledge that I've picked up in the last few years and be able to pass it to you 
and I learned all these skills. I'm able to, you know, pass everything to you. So it's a beautiful thing. I loved it. All right. I love it now, but it was really never my thing because I didn't want to be cocooned with all these aspire to perspire to acquire to desire, you know, all those kind of stuff. So please never you mistake me for a motivational speaker. I am not a motivational speaker. I'm a businessman. I'm a marketing expert. All right. That's one of the things I do. And every business, I built a business in six months into 14 countries into 14 countries with over a billion in income in less than fucking six months so that is grace if it's nothing I helped two of my friends build their businesses to hundreds of millions in less than a year two of my friends I don't know if any one of them is watching please just signify all right I don't know what motivational speaker does that one uh -huh. So I am not a motivational speaker, so don't think you're listening to motivation nonsense here. Yeah. You are listening to what has helped an homeless guy. Alright, I think my older sister is online in twenty what year was that? 20, 2015. I came to stay in her house because I didn't have a house to stay. Unannounced. <laughs> the little food she has, I was eating it. <laughs> because I didn't have a house to stay. Until my friend John, I don't know if John is live too. He sent me a message on Facebook, uh, I think this morning, so most likely you will see this someday and then join us live. It was John that put me in his house. He was doing MBA at the time, so he was not always at home, he was always in school, so he said I could stay in his house. So, if I move from that, that same year, 2016 now, I'm moving to the biggest, most expensive house in the city that I was staying at that time. All because I was able to change a few things about my life which is part of the things I'm teaching you then I believe I've got something to teach you guys and it's not motivation not speaking now at the risk of uh, stereotyping joy is good to see you on Facebook please share this share this now let people know that we are live at the risk of uh, stereotyping people who do motivational speaking it is not a bad thing to motivate as a matter of fact anytime you speak to get someone to take an action that they would not have taken on their own it's called motivational speaking but you have to be guided what you are motivated to do i don't know if you have seen a picture before of where a monkey carries stick and he was going to eat a lion so it was a picture a lion was sleeping so the monkey carries stick was going to eat the lion they now put on the caption only god know what motivational speaker has told this one <laughs> did you get the picture a monkey wanted to go and eat a lion with stick so the picture then i said only god know what motivational speaker has told that monkey you can do it you are big you can hit the lion go and knock him a stick on the head i mean he wanted to knock a lion at Paco. ah oh my god that lion the food has come to him that day <laughs> so uh, it's okay those who do it it's amazing it's nice all of us need motivation in our lives as a matter of fact uh, most of the results you've gotten you will never get it without motivation all right so you <laughs> some say yes you saw the caption you have to be motivated at some point also so it's important that we do that okay but all i'm saying is i am not one of motivational speakers but then let this not distract you all right all right <clears throat> so today i'm going to be sharing another secret with us and remember i said all about secrets i wanted to share this video if you're just joining my name is sam harvard and welcome to the harvard morning school all right so this is where I'm going to teach you everything that I know about making money. And I'm not charging you yet for this. Yeah, those who are going to watch this later, I'm so going to charge you so hard. You're going to wish you were never born. Anyway, that's uh, the rock line. <laughs> All right. So what I want to share today, ladies and gentlemen, is the foundation. This is what's going to make a difference between two people. Now, I'm going to tell you a story, a bit of my personal story, and I want you to learn from it. Um, several years ago, I met this young man, amazing guy. I still respect him. He's still a very close friend of mine till now. Um, so I met this young man. We were coppers. We were just fresh graduates. Although I served a lot late because I spent eight years in school. Remember all those uh, third class, eight years kind of thing and all that. So my school daughter that was in under level when I was in final year. We were serving together. And I remember I got to camp, I saw her. And she said, my daddy. I said, hey, ah, 
You see, your daddy and your piki, we are now couples together. I'll see how life has done me. Eh? They do me strong thing. So naturally, I was serving with, uh, if you understand Yoruba, what we call Arubu Ara. I mean, I don't hold. I was, okay, so I was older than the normal national service age. So, but then I was there and so I met this young man at a training school. So there was this lady that had come to our camp to uh, present a training school, uh, an entrepreneurship incubation program. And I liked the way she was speaking English. I mean, that was the only thing I picked from what she was saying. Her accent. I love her accent. Yeah. So I liked the way she was speaking, but of course I couldn't register for her training and all of that. So later on, somebody told me that, um, um, how did this happen? Oh, okay. Somebody was sitting next to me in a church drama Riaz house, and then I was trying to chat out to a lady, and then she was like, What's your name? and all of that. So I mentioned my name, and she was like, Oh my god, it's like you saw Michael Jackson, you know, the way you almost faint. So she was like, You saw a celebrity. I was like, Okay, so what's going on here? So I was like, Oh, it is you. Oh my god, I can't believe it. But, uh, Everybody act drama here. Is this part of the drama Riaza? I mean, come on, what are you doing, lady? She was like, no, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand. That where she works, there is a core member who told my story. The story I told while we were in camp. And then she fell so much in love with the story and the way the guy told the story that she said she was going to find me at every cost. You know, so I was a celebrity because someone else had told my story, the story that I told, and she really wanted to meet me. So I said, okay, I'm honored. Thank you very much for that. She said, no, 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 you don't understand. I like you. Da, 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 da. Ah, okay, so called the long story short. We started talking, and she said she wanted to learn this and that from me. So she told me about this incubation school again. And I said, ah, I heard about them in camp that would love to join. So, cut the long story short, I joined the class. Unfortunately, the lecturer that was training them did not even know what he was talking about. I mean, the guy did not know what an executive summary is. I had to stand up to lecture the entire class, including the lecturer, what executive summary is in a business plan. I mean, they don't know these things. So we're like, oh my God. You know how it feels when you're the most intelligent in class? You, are, you even know more than the teacher in that class. It's crazy, yeah? So that was my experience. So cut the long story short, I met this guy, and then we were to start a business project, and they were going to get funding for us from the U.S. So myself and this friend decided to work together, and then unfortunately, they, we went, we did so much. We spent money, did research, built all kinds of things. When it was time for the funder to come, the edge funders or the people that were supposed to fund our project, they, they, they showed up, but they started changing goal. We realized that more. Um, they have carried us handicapped. <laughs> I mean, we have been scammed. So there was no money. No money was going to come from anywhere. So, but we stuck with this lady who run this incubation school. So we started working with her because she got two other contracts. And so we were working with her, with the state government and all of that. But unfortunately, she kept promising that she was going to pay us. She was going to pay us, but she never paid myself. And this is my friend. So eventually they started, they got one contract from the state government. We helped in getting this contract as a matter of fact. So when they got it, the first payment they made, the lady paid herself, paid her boyfriend, paid one other man that she's obviously sleeping with, and then paid some other people, like a million each. And then when it was the turn of my friend and I, who struggled and also so that this come out. And she has promised us heaven and earth. Guess how much she gave us? She gave us 30,000 naira each. Ah! I got pissed, but I said, relax. Second time, they released money. They did similar thing. They gave us another 30,000 each. Ah, what's going on here? I mean, like, ah, come on now. What's going on? So eventually, they said that they needed to wait because they were, there was an election. Cut the long story short. We waited for roughly about 10 months. No salary, no nothing. We are working. Those were the time that I told you that I went to look for a job as a graphic designer. And the owner of the job said that, is it me that wants to apply on my son because I'm obviously too old for the job? <laughs> so eventually, 
when the governor of that state got re-elected and then of course they continued on the contract they made the third payment this time around they paid them three times of what they paid the initial two times so i was convinced that of course we're going to get some real money out of this i haven't waited for this long and of course the fact that they paid three times of what they used to pay uh the company or the lady as it were and then my friend now said that ah my brother, they don't do well, though. imagine uh, 300 k now, eh? then pay us. Ah, say 300 k, that's bad now. Nah. But now, nah, so he said, hold oh, on, what are you saying? He said, 300 k for both of us, like, it's 150,000 each. Ah! So, cut the long story short, I took the 150, I said, I'm done. I sent her a message, I said, I resign. Thank you very much for all you have done so far. But this is how far our work relationship will go. So I told my friend, guy, let's get out of there. This is not, we're worth more than this. We are too intelligent. We know quite a lot of things. We cannot remain here. And he said, mm, no, he wants to keep on working with that. Ah, are you okay? What do you mean? <laughs> so he said, eh, eh, his dad or his parents would want him to remain there and not leave for uncertainty. Because whatever the lady was offering was certainty. What I was offering was uncertainty. Ah, it's like, guy, I'm saying let's break free let's get to do more with our lives that's what i'm saying so cut the long story short he stayed back and then i left life was not easy for me all right <laughs> excuse me when i left it wasn't easy some of you there are things you're going to begin to do in the next 30 days on this course that are not going to be easy immediately you are not going to have it easy immediately some people will be easy for you but some of you might not find it easy. I'm just saying this so you get prepared. The journey to building wealth, the journey to having what you want may not be easy for everybody. To some people, it might be easy. To you, it might not be. So please know at the back of your mind. As a matter of fact, one of the things you know that you're on the right track is when things start to go against you. When you are turned down by the very set of people that are supposed to embrace you. When people that you love and you trust decide to betray you, you know you're on the right track because something big is about to happen to you. So that is what I want you to, to put your mind on. I shall say exactly the story of an employment freelance in Dubai, of course. So life is so great and dynamic that nobody's going to hand things over to you. Sometimes you have to lambano things. It means you have to take things by force. All right? Well, don't misunderstand that. That's another training on its own. But right here, I wanted more. I wanted more. So I was not going to sit down with somebody who's going to keep downplaying my what, who's going to keep on reducing my capacity to do well just because of our own personal gain. I was not going to have that anymore. So I said to myself, I don't mind though, this 150 is where I get to. <laughs> Believe me, the 150 finished. <laughs> we did two weeks because I had to rent a place and then the money had finished. So, I was left with almost nothing other than a few food stuff that I bought and I was eating it small, small so that it would not finish. So, I was out there trying this, trying that. I tried all kinds of things. And one day, this, my friend, was still living in his same studio apartment. That studio apartment, what he was paying per annum is less than what I'm paying per day here, today now. I mean, of course, he too has upgraded anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> so I went to visit this guy and as at the time we were working together, he knows how to drive, I didn't even know how to drive. <laughs> so I went to visit him and at this time, my ozu, the choices I made, I started to pay off. Alright, the choices I'd made, I started to pay off. This was, I think it took me about two years, yeah, it took me two years. So it's not like, so I followed my passion, I, I decided to follow what I believed in, and in one week I came back and I was rich. No, it's motivation nonsense, I will tell you that. It took me two years of suffering, but not giving up. Two years of daring more and more things in the line of what I believe my life should pursue. All right, which I believe some of your minds are opening right now because some of you are discouraged on something that you are pursuing, but you believe you know that is what you are supposed to do. You are clear that is what you are supposed to do. All right, but it's been difficult so far. Now, some of you claim things are difficult, but you are really doing nothing. You are lazy. Let me abuse you small, let me insult you small. You are lazy as fuck. 
That is the problem. How many hours do you have in a day? How many of them do you spend sleeping? You are pursuing your passion and you spend hours on Netflix. Are you okay? You are pursuing your passion yet you sit at home doing nothing other than chatting and commenting on idiot gist online and then going to read comment that makes you laugh watching comedy video and all of that. I mean, I met a lady in this Dubai and she said uh, uh, the job she was getting, they were discriminating against her because she's black now, she's looking for this and that and that and all of that. And the few hours that I was with her, let's say we were together for four hours. This lady used three hours, 30 minutes to play game, 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 game. She was playing game. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> How can... So what do you spend your time on? How productive have you been? Before I started this online nonsense that I'm doing right now, every day, minimum, I spend five hours on YouTube. I was not watching comedy or music. I was learning skills. How are these guys who are making money online, how are they doing it? What are they doing? So they're saying something digital marketing. I tried, but the amount they were calling for me were too much for me. So I went on YouTube. The data that God has blessed me with, let me use it very well. A billionaire friend of mine said, if all you have is 10,000 Naira, go and buy data of 8K on your phone. So I was watching different videos. That's how I got to meet a lot of people. I will consume five hours every day. You think it's a joke? And I do this overnight while everybody else is sleeping. I have my biro. I always have book. See how big my notebook is. Some of you, what I make in a day, you don't make in a year. And I have a big notebook. So, you are lazy. You are too lazy. That is your problem. You are not productive. You are only apparently busy to people, but you are not doing anything. What are you doing? How many hours are you sleeping? What skill have you learned in the last 24 hours? What skill have you learned in the last 24 hours? Right now, I can analyze any business. And I might not be able to triple, double, times 10 their profits, depending on how large they are. But I will always be able to add to whatever they are doing. At least, at my lowest, I'm an addition to a business that I decide to work with. At my lowest, I'm an addition to you. If I can multiply you, I add to you. I add to you. So, you have to make sure every time you spend, when you are not resting to get more energy, you are learning something. You are working on your project. You are working on the things you believe in. You are working on your business. Some of you are claiming your business is not selling. Please, how many times have you gone out, dressed pretty well, and meet people, build rapport with them, and tell them about your business? How many people do you chat up on Instagram? Let me talk to you, Instagram people. How many people do you chat up on Instagram and introduce yourself and tell them about your business? How many? So once you do three posts a day, you are expecting miracle to happen. Are you fine? It ain't gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. So it's not about posting. So I say what I think I'm business online. So now I posted this very nice class. So uh, this uh, this uh, mic now I posted it. So. People come and buy. This is a nice mic. Are you okay? Who knew you? Why would they buy from you? Why? The currency of transaction in online business is called trust. Somebody type trust for me. They don't trust you. Nobody's going to give you money. You remember the, 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 the what I ordered versus what I got? So without trust, nobody is going to pay or buy anything from you. Exotic fashion and craft. You can create that your page because your page name now is about business. There's fashion, there's craft and stuff. How do you make a million per week with this your brand? It's possible. It's called scaling. It's called scaling. So it is not just about you posting and then you go. There are so many things. I'm going to open crazy things to you in the course of these 30 days. You want to make sure that every 3 p.m. you stick with me here. Because your life cannot, even if we are following you from home, your life cannot be the same. So, hunger is the number two secret of wealth creation. If you are not hungry for it, forget it. 
Hunger is a build up on what I shared with you yesterday because yes, you want it, but how much do you want it? Does your being want it? So if you're not hungry, if you are contented, you are comfortable, hey. So I went to visit this, my friend, and I drove a new car. There was still nylon bag or whatever they call it on the seats. <laughs> and when he entered, he opened his mouth. There's a friend of mine that I borrowed his father's car one time when I was about to start a particular business uh, on training people on project management and stuff. And so I, I borrowed money from a friend. And there was this woman that used to do printing and we used to gist a lot. She likes hearing my motivation. I used to do motivation nonsense sometimes ago. So she used to like it a lot. So she did printing for me on credit. So I borrowed car from this friend, borrowed from this, borrowed money from my other friend. He gave me 3,000 Naira at that time. He's kind of like my closest friend now. So he put, we put it, we borrowed this guy's car. I didn't know how to drive. So this, my other friend who borrowed me 3,000 was the driver. So we drove to go and market and all of that. When you saw me speak to those core members, those graduates doing national service, you would think I'm a billionaire. You would think, but I borrowed all the, <laughs> I borrowed all this stuff and I was hungry for a change. So when I bought this car, this guy that borrowed me car thought I bought pencil because it has always been pencil. We said we wanted to buy that's a 2001 Toyota uh, Camry. He thought that was what I bought. But when he saw the Lesus, oh my God, <laughs> he was shocked. So how did you do it? So I went to this my friend's house and I showed him. I said, guy, come and celebrate. Car don't land. He said, hey, what? He came out and he saw it. He was like, how did you do it? I said, hey, I told you to follow me. You decide to stay with this lady. At this time, he has finally resigned. Now, he's broke. He's busted. He got nothing. And then I told him, you sat with comfort. You call it certainty. Me, I went with my heart. I pursue because I wanted more. And see where I am. See where I am. You know what he told me? Please, help me. How can I start? Ah, it's too late because now you intend to have my result that took me two years. Tomorrow. Yeah, if I show you what I am doing now and how I'm doing it, you would expect that doing it for one day will take you to the same level as me. And that's the illusion. That's the wrong mindset a lot of us have. When you start to pursue something, when it was time for you to pursue something, you did not pursue it. When someone else pursued it and got a breakthrough out of it, you now want to pursue. But this time around, you want to get a result that took them two years, five years, ten years. You want to do it in one day. Nonsense mindset. So you've got to be hungry. I want you to type, I am hungry for success. Type it, I am hungry for success. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Type it, type it, type it. I am hungry for success. Type it. I'm hungry for success. Come on. Yeah, today, not today. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Hungry, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So, how do you know you are hungry? How do you become hungry for wealth? If that is another secret, what does it mean to be hungry? What does it mean to be hungry? You need to be able to decide and determine what outcome you want to have even before you start. You need to be able to decide and determine what outcome you want to have even before you start. My question to you right now 
wealth, and I'm going to teach this, is about the feeling we get from life. Okay? It's about the feelings we get from life. It's about the feelings we get from life. So, what do I mean by that? <laughs> I didn't want to teach this now, but let me just summarize this. I'm probably going to teach it later. When you buy a car, the job of a car is to move you from point A to point B. You're not going to live in the car. You're not going to eat the car. The car is not the, the, the thing that will make you succeed. As a matter of fact, Africa is where I see that people take cars a big deal. African celebrities buy cars and then they show it like that is the measure of success. It's bullshit. It's low self-esteem. Boys that are 10 years younger than them, 20 years younger than them, have bigger cars in developed countries. It's nothing. Billionaires don't flaunt cars. They are not like acquired this nonsense. Except some of them. Yeah, I love cars. Yeah, it's good to collect some of these things. But they don't flaunt it as a proof of wealth, as a proof of approval. Yeah, we're working out. Got it. That's all. They buy car. So I just saw one actress and her husband that I respect so much. I think it's a Lexus that both of them. So they are flaunting it. One other one bought one. This event, whatever kind of car. And then they will flaunt it. So it's in Africa. That's why there are terrible traffic. Because everybody wants to drive car. They see cars, uh, we, we have arrived. It's car, it's car. It is never about the car. Now, why you take car that serious as a breakthrough, as a, as a big deal, all right, <laughs> is because of the feeling you get when you drive a Range Rover and not a Camry. The feeling you get when you drive a Rolls Royce and not a Lexus is the feeling you get. So, it's like you bounce emotion out and they bounce it back to you. And what comes back to you is, hey, Baba, Baba, I mean, like, oh, they hail you. Yes, they hail you. So, you want people to see that you are big. You want people to see that you have arrived. You want people to see that you are not poor. Hence, your esteem, instantaneous esteem, is tied to the kind of vehicle that takes you from point A to point B. What is most important is that you move from point A to point B. What moved you from point A to point B does not matter to the process of that movement. Governors in developed countries enter metro. Train, if you don't know what metro means. Train. Hmm? But no, ah, in Africa, there has to be 30 motorcade. That's a convoy, we call it. 30 convoy. To, eh, they are father. We don't arrive. Now we, now the governor. Idiot nonsense. The total money, the day... I dropped political ambition and I said if I ever go into politics in Africa, it's going to be purely because I want to do giveaway and just help people. Not because I want to make any money from it. Was the day I found out that a company started by a few young men who are still alive and are still below 60. Alright? is making in a day. What a state that I was living in at that time was fighting for in an entire month. What do I mean? The national allocation, the internal revenue put together of a state in Nigeria is less than what one business in Lagos was making per day. One business, what he was making per day, was more than what a, an entire state, all they are killing themselves about. Hey, I want to be governor. <sighs> One business was making it in a day, more than all the nonsense they're making in an entire, entire month. 
Can I shock you? Everything Nigeria is dying on top. Eh? It's less than what Amazon was doing <laughs> in a year. One man company. What are we talking about? Amazon can buy Nigeria, my country, currently. Time's over. What are we talking about? So it's about mindset. So if you're small, you will be small. You are happy you bought a car. But it's somebody that owns the car company. I'm not even talking about the dealership now. Someone own produce the car. So when is your mind going to shift from I'm not hungry to own a car? I want to have a share in a company that owns a car, that, that, that makes cars, and eventually own that company someday. I don't have a car right now. But I enter any kind of car I want. Maybe only less than five people who are watching me right now has given as much cars as I've given out in the last five years. I've given out about 12 cars in the last, last five years. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As dashed to people. So it means nothing to me. It means nothing to me. So uh, my goal is not to buy a car. Some of you, cars, you have arrived. That's what you want to have. It's okay. Well, sometimes you just have to satisfy your esteem. <laughs> so you know that, yeah, you got it. But be hungry for more. Don't stay with mediocrity and expect to be rich. When you want to make money, you got to be clear about the feelings you want from life. And I say to you, when you buy clothes, you know, where I wear this, I want you guys to feel that I look good, yeah? Left to me, I can come here bare chested, just that some ladies will not be able to bear it. I'm too fine inside, eh? With my one pack, you won't be able to bear it. I would have come, I didn't, I don't used to care. Yeah, a lot of people who have been helping me, so I've improved over the years. I just had to package and all of that. I do not used to care. So, but naturally, whatever suit I wear, I want feedback. I want you guys to feel like, whoa, you look nice in that suit. You look great there. I, I wanted to do those things. So, everything you do in life, you get feedback, all right, from people. So, the feeling is the most important the feeling is the most important thing. That's all, that's all that you want. So now you know the kind of feeling you want. Be clear about it. Then know how much will it cost you to get that feeling. Fly business class. Fly first class. It's a feeling. There's a way. I mean, when I started flying business class, it's like, oh my God, so we sit at the front and I, I will, I will cack like this. So people are passing, I look at them, poor masses. You know, like that, my brother, I like him very much. Uh, billionaire Prince White. <laughs> I said, the poor masses are coming in now. We, the billionaires, we are already sitting in front. So I'll sit like this. I'll feel good. I'll feel good. So they were looking at me and say, hey, now the people they chop the country money be this. <laughs> As in, are we? Hey, you know, the only you understand where I'm coming from. Oh my God, they would have pursued me from this place. <laughs> ah, my first time in an executive lounge was crazy. I was looking at everybody like they were saying, what are you looking for? Yeah, we know you. This place is not for people like you. I, I was careful where to sit. I looked for the poorest seats in the lounge. I went to sit there. I, my esteem was still dealing with me. I mean, like, ah, come on. It's not meant for people like me, man. But I'm here anyway. I'm here. So what will it cost you to power that feeling? What will it cost you? How much? All right. So you want to put that together and set it as a goal. You are not yet hungry until you know what you are pursuing until you have a goal of what you want to become, what you want to achieve, what you want to have, you need to be able to write it down. You need to be able to know it. So I push you today. How much income do you want per month? 
how much income? A friend of mine told me uh, sometime, I think December, he said, Sam, he said, do you know that if I do not work, he said, every day, the minimum that comes to me, personal income, was 20 million. Huh? I mean, the way I was looking at him changed immediately. He said, do what? I was thinking I'm making money. Oh my. You said 20, but I mean, 20 million? Passive income daily? Oh! Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And this guy, the minimum he give out to people asking him for money, want to dash this one, whatever, per day was two million. I mean, he's not the one administering it, he's got an employee for that. But what he drops for those people to just dash, you know, to make people feel good and all of those things all around, help people everywhere, philanthropy thing, was two million. Ten percent of his daily income. So, it's laid on you right now. The responsibility is laid on you to be clear what you want to earn. To be clear what you want to earn. Timmy, uh, Timmy Sam, don't worry, we've got 30 days. Alright, today is day 6. So, allow me lay foundation. All right, it is okay. I could do everything I'm going to teach you in 30 days in one hour, but all of you will just be motivated. You will not, your life will not change. If anybody change amongst you, maybe one person. So, but if I break it down like this, you can pick and action each day. You action it, you do something about it, and then you see transformation in your life. If you are having fun on this call, you are enjoying this school, I want you to hit the share button again. Share with some more people. Hit the share button. Come and tell me share it. As soon as you have shared, at least once, share it. That's a payment you give to me. I like it when I'm seeing the numbers who are viewing. All right? Right now, we're having 24. As a matter of fact, in two, first two hours, we're having a minimum of 1,200 people viewing. I said we want to get to 10,000 views. So we're still on 1,200 views. Thank you, uh, Asha. That, that's one consistent lady that has been sticking to us since day one on Instagram. I celebrate all of you that has been sticking here. Thank you, Benisi. Thank you, Fryo, for sharing this. All right. Thank you for sharing. Mind well, Fisher. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. My own Stella, how are you there? Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Sami Wize. YST, thank you, Sunday Boy, thank you, Store 6.9, uh, Losty Wardrobe, thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. Amazing guys, thank you. Exotic Fashion and Crafts, thank you for sharing. All right, so welcome. We said we are dealing with skill, we're dealing with business, we're dealing with investment. So these are the three things we're going to be dealing with in the next 30 days. This is the C. So right now, we are talking about the secret of accumulating wealth. Wealth is either going to come through your skill, it's either going to come through your business, it's either going to come through your investment or through all of them. I advise you have all of them, all right? But if you can't have all of them, you have to start from the basic. And that's what was we laid as a foundation from the first day. And it's making sense. Amazing, amazing, amazing sense. All right, great. Please, everybody just type in share. Now, are you sure you have shared? Because they notify me about who is a sharer. I'm able to see Karan Scott that do freelance and employment that wouldn't be possible. And employment that would be possible. All right, thank you, Asha, for that. Thank you, Asha, for that. So, now, thank God you do freelance because what I'm going to be teaching is going to be crazy. It's going to multiply your income. It's going to multiply your income. Trust me on that. <laughs> it's going to multiply your income. So, today, we're sharing secret number two. Be hungry. Be hungry. So, how do you become hungry? All right, I said, find out how much we cost to give you the feeling you want. How much will cost you to pay for your expenses and liability and you still have abundance to give per day, per week, per month, per year? So how much money do you want to make every month that will give you the kind of lifestyle that makes you happy? The kind of lifestyle that will help you 
do and become all you have always desired to be. So the first step is to be clear about what you want. All right? Life will never give you what you desire. It won't. It won't. It will only give you what you are hungry for. It will only give you what you are hungry for. So you have to be hungry for this. To be hunger means you know what will satisfy your appetite. As a matter of fact, when you are hungry, it doesn't matter what it tastes like. It doesn't matter the quantity. You just want to put something in. All right? So you ferociously go after what you call food. All right? You ferociously go after what you call food so what are we saying now practical step write down how much you want to earn per month per week per day if necessary if it's your business write it down how much do you want to be earning because you gotta do the maths you got to be hungry for it you got to be clear about it. Okay? So you've got to be clear about it. You've got to be hungry 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 about it. <laughs> Let me repeat that. You've got to be hungry about it. So write it down. Or think about it in your head. If you want to type it, you can also type it. If it's not uh, too much of a secret. Write it. Now, whatever you desire to earn right now. Alright? Whatever you desire to earn right now. That amount that you have written down. That amount that you have written down. That amount you have written down. Make sure it's comfortable enough. I'm going to teach you tomorrow about five things to do to make it a reality in the shortest possible time. I will teach you tomorrow. I might extend it for series, but I'm going to start it tomorrow. Five things that you can do. Actionable steps that you can do to make that amount a reality for you. It's a test. And I want you to carry it out because you must make money by fire, by thunder. But you got to be what? Hungry. You got to be hungry. You have to be hungry. You've got to want it. You've got to find time. You've got to do everything possible. Some of you, when you get home tonight, do not sleep early. Take two hours to learn something new. Take two hours to learn something new. So tomorrow, same time, I will share with you five things you can action, you can start immediately that is going to make this possible for you. You do not want to miss this. You do not want to miss this. You do not want to miss this. So yesterday, I said you got a warning and I did all kinds of stuff. I taught you how to create a mental video. How many of you have been enjoying that? I've been doing that on your own. What I taught you yesterday, if you do not know it, please go to yesterday's replay and watch again. Watch again, watch with a notebook, all right? Make jottings, all right? Watch with a notebook. It's very important. It's very important. I know there is greatness within you. I know nothing can stop you except yourself. So I beg you to do the due diligence. Do your own part. Make sure you are hard working. Make sure you are hard working. 
thank you saint kennedy said to learn something every day practice the things that i teach you to do just practice it it's a school it's a morning school it's a morning school so tomorrow we are going to begin actionable steps that will move you closer to this daily income you want so before tomorrow i want you to be very clear how much you want to earn per month divided by four that is your weekly income divided by 30 that is your daily income so divide it also by 60 that is your hourly income by 24 rather that is your hourly income and divide it by 60 that is your minute income <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is what I'm talking about. So you have to break it down like that. So I will now start with you what you need to do. So I'm going to teach a diagram. I'm going to post that diagram on my Instagram page and also on the Facebook page before the class tomorrow so that you can study it. So I call it the PAA concept. PAA, I will tell you what that means later. Uh, not tonight but i'll tell you tomorrow what it means paa concept so it's a diagram and with that diagram i'm going to teach you five actionable steps that i want you to follow and it will move you closer to some of you from tomorrow you might even start to make money some of you might take you a year to make money depending on what you decide to do all right so that is what we're going to do so I'm going to teach you if yours is a million you want to make, a two million you want to make, five million you want to make, ten thousand dollars you want to make, whatever it is that you want to make per month. These steps I'm going to teach you tomorrow is going to open it up to you and start to show you how that can work. Now someone was asking, teach us how to fish. The only thing I can dash you, apart from what I'm giving you on this training, is ability to learn my number one skill and this as somebody was sending a message to me on Instagram today and I was almost crying for her because of her mindset she's young she referred to one of my students an amazing lady by the way that is less than 20 and is doing incredible I mean she's doing six figures weekly if you are in Nigeria and you are less than 20 and you're doing six figures every week you know that you are bowling now so another lady of her same age grade doesn't have capacity to think. I said this one is confirmed slay mama. People fight knowledge. And how do they want to make money? How do they want to become rich when they fight knowledge? So it's crazy. So make sure you are not fighting knowledge. Make sure you are ready to do what you are asked to do. So, best i can give to you is my skill what i know so but it will cost you something it is not free there's a training i'm releasing this week that is going to teach my students how to make money within 48 hours yeah it looks like get rich quick but get rich quick is not a bad thing it is the 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 the, the, the route the way you do it that can make it bad you can get rich quick if you are adding value. But most get rich quick remove value from the equation and they want to make money. That's the problem. So a real get rich quick is the one that adds value and make money based on that. So it's quite easy. So if you want me to teach you for, uh, I think about 40 something days now or about 90 days of stuff, the best skills that I have, it will cost you $23 only. You need to join our platform, Lenoflix Affiliate Program. If you have not joined, you are sitting on the long thing. You can have business, you can live anywhere. It's just $23. Private chat me, send me a DM on facebook send me a dm on instagram i will personally respond to you i'll give you my link go and register if you are in nigeria that's 10,350. for now it's going up soon so join that platform you get to see my face this saturday i'm going to be training for five hours on incredible <laughs> wealth generating skill crazy so join the fun, the, 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 the the tribe 
that we are creating i put it on instagram and facebook already the traffic hackers team so learn the skill of generating traffic it's the easiest thing you can learn please your mind is to learn thank you a lot of amazing students of mine that are online right now some of them have not responded to your own now we sorry eh? how we respond to your own the secret of getting me to respond to your message keep sending messages till i respond just keep sending you can if you don't know what to repeat the same message over and over till i respond yes you can apply through me directly i'm going to give you my link uh, for those of you who are following me but if somebody invited you here to watch this school i want you to chat the person up and ask are you a member of lenoflix if the person says yes they will give you their own link to register if the person says no both of you come and register directly with me all right so uh after payment you don't respond to people ah it's not me that respond to people go to the websites go to contact us you have three support line there's no way they will not respond to you unless you have not sent them a message send them a message on whatsapp they are going to respond to you there are at least three if not four i think there are four now support lines so there is no way unless you are not a nice person but even if you are not a nice person they will respond to you there are four of them that will respond to you whatever it is you need all right and we have an amazing community all right that will give you everything that you need as well so uh we have a new training coming up which we call the two mi48 which is um um make money in 48 hours yeah make money in 48 hours so you're gonna get all the incredible tutorials on things you can do the setup you can do and you start making money within 48 hours of starting so it's incredible and then we have the long course which is how you can make seven figures by generating traffic online to other people's products it's the sweetest thing you can do i was blown away today with having a training with some of my students and i was hearing millions how these people are even making the millions if it's surprising to me a 23 years old has done in the last four months of this year has done six million naira or oh, that six <laughs> <laughs> so just imagine that so it's not about the money but it's about the skill all right so get the skill and let's kick this send me a message send the person who share this with you find out if they are on Lenoflix. if they are not come and send me a message i'll give you my link you register eh? and then <laughs> i have asked for a link to me just send me a message jeremiah all right i'll give you the link to register and then you'll be able to make payment on that yeah it's different from Harvard money Harvard money school is free on instagram on facebook for 30 days for now after now it's going to get on my website and it's going to be a lot of money probably a thousand dollars to attend Harvard money school and guess what they're going to be learning the same thing that i'm teaching you for free the same thing you are learning for free is what they're going to be learning all right so that is what you're going to be able to get all right so so private chat me when necessary and um, let's talk about that so tomorrow i'm going to blow your mind by sharing with you five crazy things you can action that is going to take you closer to that amount you have written you don't want to miss this for any reason you don't want to miss it for any reason Collins, don't post the link on my life i'm going to remove you or tell admin to block your account Collins, is wrong to post link when i'm live all right so either I'm on YouTube, on uh, Zoom, or I'm on Facebook or Instagram. Don't post your link. It is a sin. All right. It is a sin to be posting link. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> don't want to be posting link. So thank you everybody for joining.